Hi everybody, this is a quick video to show you how to take through Design Space, the SVG to cut this lovely box to hold uh, the hexagonal wax melts that a lot of you make. It takes five melts and you can put different scents in the same box, uh, especially if you make it in acetate, which obviously won't leach the fragrance out. And the reason you can put five in together is that the second melt and the fourth melt sit in a little insert which holds them separately from the wax melts on either side so each one is actually separate. You can also make it in card and you can do the same thing um, and with this you could, I mean acid free card would be a good idea but actually you fill the windows in with acetate anyway and you could make your um your inserts out of acetate as well so they'd be wrapped in that but if you make it an acid free card you're probably good to go as well so there you can see the uh, melts two and four sitting in those little inserts that keep them separate from everything else okay let's put it in design space and see how to cut it it's quite an easy file actually so as usual with any multi-part SVG with score lines, when you bring it into design space, the first thing you've got to do is convert the lines that come in as cuts, which we actually want to be scores. We can't make them come in preset as scores anymore. I think that's something very confusing for people who are used to only using um, Cricut Access projects, which have all the scores set up when you open it up can't do that with externally imported SVGs you have to convert them when they come in but uh, the easy thing about my SVGs is they always live in that first subgroup in your layers panel and they'll always be grouped together which means you only need to click on the name of the, of the group go to your operations menu choose score from the drop down and you can see that they're converted now but because there's more than one set as you can see it's a group that you can toggle open and closed you've got to ungroup them and for me, I'm on the desktop version for PC. Ungroup is at the top of the layers panel there. Second step is to click on that group underneath, which contains all the cut pieces and any tiny cuts within them. All we need to do here is ungroup. And then the third step is to select absolutely everything on screen and a third ungroup. Lots of different ways to select everything on screen. You can just drag a box to enclose it. You can click at the top of the layers panel like I did. You can use the select all button. If you're on your PC, you can use control A. Right, so now everything on screen is a separate piece and we need to attach the scores to the individual pieces that they relate to. It doesn't matter so much with this particular project because it all will cut from A4 anyway, but doing that separate attaching is a really good habit to get into if you're going to use a lot of externally imported SVGs because the layout that I've got here, they won't all come in that kind of layout and certainly they won't all fit on A4. So the quickest way to uh, select a piece is to just click on canvas somewhere near it, drag a box to enclose just that piece and its scores and click attach and for me that's at the bottom of the layers panel. This obviously is the acetate window that just slips behind and sticks inside the box, no scores on that obviously. That's the main box body and these are the little inserts that go inside and sit around melts two and four. Okay, so that's all the scores attached now. You can see because when we move it, everything moves together. Nothing gets left behind. Click make it. And we can choose A4 for the main box. Everything cuts on A4. And you can see why I said we could actually have attached those together, but get into the habit of doing it separately. It's a good habit. And then this below obviously will fit on A4. But if you're going to be making a few of these, step this up. Uh, you can get six on a page. And actually... If we just try and turn that round, you can see it won't let you do it. And that's because Design Space likes to have a big margin around things. So if I were cutting quite a lot of these all at once, I would copy and paste that. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And just for tidiness' sake, I'm going to centre them horizontally and I'm going to distribute them vertically. And then I'm going to attach them in that layout. Now we can see that this, um, the width of this attached piece now is 19 
0.79 centimetres. Well, an A4 is 21 centimetres, so you've got about 13 millimetres to play with there on the width uh, and lots to play with on the length. We don't need to worry about the length. Um, so it will definitely cut from A4, but if we just press make it again, we can choose A4 for the main box. But you'll see it won't let us choose A4 for this because it wants to put those bigger margins around it. But it definitely will cut from A4. So all you're going to do is you're going to choose 12 by 12 and the standard mat. And then you're just going to put your piece of A4 um, acetate or PVC, whatever you're using, on the mat. If you're worried, just put it a millimetre or two away from that very first white line at the left hand side of your mat but you've still got plenty of room here i don't think you need to do that so you can get six up six from a sheet of a4 acetate if you do it that way okay that's that i hope that helps if you have any more questions when you come to cut or assemble it please do get in touch uh, the way to do that is linked in the description below. You can contact me on Etsy or Facebook, whichever you prefer. And if you just stumbled across this SVG, uh, this video, pardon me, and you'd like to buy the SVG, the link to do that is also in the description. Thanks a lot. Bye.